Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC, and in this video, you'll learn about different workflows for signing and processing prescriptions using the RxQ in PCC EHR. I showed you in a previous video, you can review patient medication information and create new prescriptions right here in the PCC ERx section of a patient's chart. After creating the prescription, I can click to send it and I'm all done. But there are other ways a prescription can be processed. If I'm clinical staff, like an RN, LPN, or MA, I might not be able to send and finalize a prescription depending on my practice's policy. Your practice can configure each user to determine whether they are allowed to send prescriptions or not. So right now, I'm logged in as Kyle Kendall, a nurse, and Kyle is configured by my practice administrator to be clinical staff, which means I can create a prescription for Dino, but I cannot send it. This prescription is going to show up on the RX queue for the doctor to process. Before we go look at that queue, let's do a slightly different example. Okay, now I'm logged in as an LNA, Zelda, who is allowed by my practice to create and send prescriptions on the doctor's behalf. Zelda is a provider agent. So I'll create a prescription for this patient. And I can click Finalize Prescriptions to send it. On the prescription review screen, I can see the patient, the prescriber agent, that's me, and the prescriber that I'm prescribing for, along with the patient's pharmacy. I'm all set to send this prescription. Okay, now let's switch over to Dr. Mark's screen. Dr. Mark is now logged in and is going to look at the RX queue. Just like my other queues in PCC EHR, I could customize the filters down here at the bottom to make sure the queue shows me just work that I need to address. And I can see the total number of prescriptions waiting for attention up here on the queue tab. There are three different kinds of prescriptions I might see here on the RX queue. The first one we're going to talk about is agent prescriptions. I can see there's three prescriptions created and sent by Zelda Zen including that one right here for Chris Cedarstrom. As Dr. Mark, I am a supervising provider, and for these prescriptions, my job is pretty easy. I will review these and click to select one. I could also click Select All up here. Then I'll click Sign to indicate I have reviewed this prescription. I see the details on the screen, and I click Submit. Great, I dealt with a provider agent prescription on the queue. That was easy. Now, I've also got a section here that shows me pending prescriptions. A pending prescription has not been sent yet. Look, I can see that albuterol prescription for Dino created by Kyle, my nurse, who does not have permission to send prescriptions. He's not a provider agent. I can review this prescription here and then click to process it. By the way, super handy feature here for any of the patients I might see on my RX queue, agent prescriptions or these pending prescriptions, for example. I can click on the patient's name right here. And PCC EHR will open that patient's chart and open the PCC ERX information for that prescription's visit. I can review the whole chart if I need to. When I want to approve and send that prescription, I can do so from here in the chart. There's even a shortened version of the RX queue in here that shows me just this patient's items. Okay, I'll finalize and send Dino's prescription that was created by Kyle. Let's go back to the RX queue. One other cool feature of this pending prescription section, uh, this list shows me the unsent prescriptions from Kyle, my RN, for example, but it would also show me any other prescriptions that were created and saved but not sent. So if I, as Dr. Mark, created a prescription but didn't send it yet for any reason, I'll see it here on my queue so I can remember to finish it up. Great, so the RX queue will show me any provider agent prescriptions, which were sent on the behalf of a prescriber, and any pending prescriptions, which have not yet been sent. The RX queue will also show me another kind of incomplete prescription. If we wait here long enough... Aha! A renewal request. If a pharmacy initiates a renewal request for one of your patients, it will automatically appear on this queue, too. You can review that request, and, as I mentioned before, you can click on the patient's name to open the chart if you need to. When you wish to approve or deny that request, 
you can click here. If you choose to deny, you can enter a reason. You may get renewal requests from patients you don't recognize, maybe because the name doesn't quite match your practice's chart record. In that case, you'll be able to search and find the actual patient, or you can deny this invalid renewal request and then go open the actual patient's chart and, if appropriate, create a new prescription or send a refill. For now, I'll approve this request. The RxQ is a quick, one-stop screen where you can approve or deny renewal requests, review prescription activity by your practice's provider agents, and finish up and send any pending prescriptions that you or a member of your clinical staff may have created. There's more information as usual on learn.pcc.com. For example, we've got a video on how to configure each of your staff members so they have the correct prescriber roles, such as provider agent. Your client advocate can show you all of these features and help you perfect your practice's prescription workflow. Thanks for watching.